Hi guys, just thought I'd do a little bit of work on this toy grade receiver that I burnt out on that um, toy grade monster truck the other day. I pinched it out of a little Mini Cooper toy. And it's 27 megahertz, so I've got 27 megahertz transmitter. These black Transistors here are the H bridge, which controls the two motors. That top set of three will control this motor, and that set of three would control that motor. They're just random motors that I put connectors on so we can demonstrate. Uh, I'm running it on 5AA batteries. Uh, the circuit board itself was in a pretty poor state. Obviously there had been some corrosion. Uh, let's just zoom in a bit. So I actually had to strap it out where it had corroded right through the um, copper tracks. Uh, I've got a pointing stick. Yeah, along there it corroded right through and all around here was corroded. Um, that's where the negative wire should be connected, but I've just followed the track along and connected it along here instead. The positive track is connected there and then it goes away to the on-off switch and actually turns up down here. Hope that was all in shot. Um, obviously we're looking at the back of the board here. These row of tags here are the RX2 chip, the receiver chip. That's still working fine. All that's happened is I've drawn too much current and it's killed two of these transistors, the ones that actually connect the positive rail through the motor to the negative rail. So that they actually switch the full battery load, whereas the actual circuitry itself is only running on uh, is it 3.3 volts or something. Somewhere in there there'll be a voltage regulator of some sort that will drop it down to 3.3 volts. But the only bit we're really interested in is at this end, so the, tr the transistor just switches on and off the power to the motor. Um, well, I say just switches it on and off, depending on which way it switches on and which way it switches off, depends on which direction the motor turns. So if we demonstrate with the one that still works, which is this one, and it's the left and right still works, so even if you can't see it, you can hear it. So that's that one working. If I press the forwards backwards, nothing's happening because, as I say, I've burnt out those two transistors. I think I can demonstrate. Uh, I'll use my bit of my pointing wire and bend that into a loop. Might be a bit too stiff to use. Well, it might work. All right, so. That transistor there would connect that rail there, which is the negative, negative, no, sorry, positive, through the transistor and eventually to the negative there. So oh, I've just looked up, up at the camera and you can't see what I'm doing. Sorry about that. So I'll just say that again. We're trying to bypass the transistor that's just here so we can go straight from the positive rail through.
through the motor, so through the two wires, to the negative. So if I short that one out, can you see that? Yeah, I'm looking at the camera now. And if I short out the other one, and press the reverse. I think I've shown that as simply as possible. So what we need to do is desolder these two transistors and replace them. And as it happens, if I did buy some transistors a while ago. It's these 8550s that we need. So if we just well, it might be an idea to take the power off. So we are a bit close in. It might pay for me to move the camera back a bit. Right, we'll just take the motor wires off first. So you can see what we're doing. So it's a bit of a mess this because I've had to rebuild the track. I might be lucky, I might be able to just heat all three legs and pull it out without burning my fingers. It is getting hot. Right, that's one out. Bit of wire. Shove that down through the legs and I should be able to pull it. I don't know if you can hear, but it is raining outside. But then it's just gone past midnight. So that's not really going to cause any problems. just so we can get the tags through. We do have a solder sucker somewhere. I'll try the desoldering wire first because that's the first thing I found. sure if we're focused but I managed to get the solder out and get the new transistors in position so I'll give them a little drop of solder and trim their legs off trim the legs off So the big question is, did that work? No. Right, do we think it'll work this time? Yes. So. So one thing that helps when you've replaced the transistors is to make sure you solder the motor back in place. Otherwise it has trouble working wirelessly. So uh, that's it, fixed. Replace those two transistors on the H-bridge. 
those ones happen to be S8550s or at least that's what I've used and that works one of the suggestions uh, I think it was Mike Flight suggested just replace those with FETs, feel effect transistors or MOSFETs bigger ones, ones that can handle more power then they won't burn out quite so easily receiver until I plug it into something that needs too much power. Job done. Hey, thanks for watching. There's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily, so don't forget to subscribe and enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases. You can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on Patreon to buy me coffee. You can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.